What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com, and welcome to today's bell ringer for Algebra 1. All right, I'm about, to, I'm about to move out of the way and freeze frame, and then you can work the problem, and then I'm explaining you the answer and how to get it. You ready? Mark, set, go. Freeze frame. Well, I don't know why I'm making this face. Okay, excellent. Hopefully by now you've frozen, and now you better freeze it quick, or actually rewind because I'm covering up the problem. Let's read our problem. In this expression, 6x squared minus 9 parentheses, x minus 4 parentheses, plus 2. Which of the following represents a coefficient? Okay, I'm going to treat this like it's a problem on a test you're taking. That way you can figure out some tricks and tips on how to work it and how to find the answer. Okay, so let's look at it. All right, what we want to do is, since this problem is based off of our possible answers, it's not like an answer we're finding from here. It's based on which one of these works within this problem. We are going to look at them one by one and find our answer, okay? Here we go. Let's look at A, 6. Um, first thing we need to know is what is a coefficient? A coefficient is a number that is in front of a variable. It's being multiplied by a variable. So, for instance, um, 7x to the third. 7 is a coefficient, okay? Now, does anyone know what a constant is? A constant is a number that's off by itself, by, like right there. This would be a constant, or constant, sorry. Constant coefficient, okay? So we need to look at which one of these fits in there. Look at, find 6 right here. Is 6 in front of a variable? Yes, it is. Therefore, it is a coefficient. So this one works. Okay? And you're like, okay, well, I'm done. Well, no. We need to look at it and make sure that that is the only answer. A lot of times you're looking and you're like, well, this is also an answer. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Or maybe I misunderstand what a coefficient is. Okay? So we want to check all of them. Be very scared when your correct answer is the first one you look at. Okay? So let's find the rest. Let's look for 9. Okay? We've got 9 right here. Now, this is where it could get tricky. Because negative 9 needs to be done what to these two right here? It rhymes with shmishmibute. I'll give you a hint. It is distribute. So we would distribute this in there, which that would remain a constant because it'd be multiplying times a regular number. But this would be negative 9x, which is a coefficient. So the negative 9 could be an answer. However, these tricksters tried to trick you. That's a positive 9. This 9, when distributed, would take the negative with it. Therefore, this is not even an option because there's not a positive 9 in this entire equation. Okay? So, we know it's not B. Let's look at negative 4. Is there a variable behind it? No. Therefore, it is a constant, not a coefficient, which is what we want. And let's look at 2. Does 2 have a variable behind it? No, sir, and no, ma'am. Therefore, it is a constant as well. And we don't want any part of constants. We want a coefficient. A is still our optimal answer. Thank you for tuning in. Check in tomorrow for tomorrow's bell ringer. And please subscribe to Harvard Academy. Dot com. Yes. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.